I was born in uh, Antwerp, Belgium in 1930. My mother was a seamstress and my father was in the diamond business. He was a cutter. I can remember the day uh, Belgium, Holland, Luxembourg was invaded by the German troops. It was a surprise to all of us. The trip from, from, from Belgium uh, as we were evacuating the city to France took us eight days in a cattle car. But soon after, France was invaded too, so uh, back to the same trauma that we had previously. Uh, we were told to report to the railroad station. We boarded a regular train, which took us to an internment camp. Uh, the conditions were horrible. The police uh, guarded us and uh, they didn't have enough guards, so they hired some of the men from the camp to, uh, to, to guard us. The men were forced into work battalions and uh, they started putting up the barbed wires. That's when my father decided that uh, he didn't like the writing on the wall and then we were gonna have to make, we we're gonna have to make a move. So by bribing some of the guards, uh, he was able to uh, manage to take us out of the camp and we were taken to a Jewish organization in Marseille. My father and brother were taken to a work camp and uh, my mother walked out to a river nearby and attempted suicide. Uh, so she was placed into a, uh, to a psychiatric hospital where ultimately she remained for the duration of the war. Now, my, my brother and my father were released from the camp. Uh, my brother joined the French underground um, I was taken to a Jewish home, an uh, orphanage. Uh, the Jewish agency went underground and provided us with false IDs. And uh, we were placed in Christian homes. And then when the situation really became terrible, uh, we were placed in, on farms. We were so high in the mountain without any communication that we didn't even know that the Americans and the Allies had landed until we saw them in town. Uh, we heard the roar of trucks and tanks uh, on the major highway. Troops coming up, the children were given chewing gum and candy by the American troops. And I vividly remember that one of the soldiers gave me his sweater, a GI sweater. Once, once we were liberated, my brother, um, was taken into the French army. My mother was released from the hospital. And unfortunately, my father, he was shipped to Auschwitz. And then when he no longer could work, he was transferred to Buchenwald, where he ultimately died 93 days before the end of the war. We didn't get to the States until uh, 1948. 